Greetings, listeners. I am your host this evening, Zach Barrett, and welcome to this Twisted Gear Studios production. You were about to listen to The Call, our Call of Cthulhu actual playcast GM'd by Derek Snow. The previous report from our investigators. Skeet seems to be alive and well. The team review what they know before redressing and returning to the New England Center of Antiquities for backup upon their failed raid on the Church of Contemplation. And he's just standing by uh, the table with the coffees and the muffins and the scones. And yeah, what's all? Uh... Hey, we how was Ulrich? Oh, I couldn't worried. find him. He had moved or something. He moved or something. Man, I don't know where he is. So I just wandered around, took him to the city. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, oh Skeet, oh, we have something very serious we need to talk to you about. Oh, God. We found out don't that... give him all the details. What? what? The military is looking for people from Swill's Gullet. Oh. Apparently, uh, well, the there was some sort of there was some sort of leak from the mine. Well, yeah, it happens every now and then, you know. Yeah, so if you have to be very careful going out into the city. We were we were we didn't know where to find you. We'd started searching for where you might be. Uh, we don't want you to get taken in by the military. We don't oh, know what they're doing oh, with people. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll probably just stay around the house then. Probably just stay around the house. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be taken in by the boom booms. Yeah, how long you lived in uh, Spills Gulla, by the way? Oh God, as long as I can remember, I suppose. Yeah. How long can you remember? All right. Oh, ways um, back a ways, you know. Can I use a psychology check to see if? Can, oh, see I, if you that's can... interesting. Yeah, you can roll a psychology check. Can I for join sure. in on that? Yes. Anyone who's feeling questionable about Skeet can roll a psychology. Oh my God! Yay! It's a twenty-seven out of fifty-five. That's actually twenty-seven is a, a hard. Hard. Is it out of 55? Yeah, it's just a hard. Yeah. yeah. 10 out of 35. Yeah, let it take. Yeah. But I did not pass it. I, I'm uh, afraid to roll because I don't want to start adjusting him again. <laughs> oh, I fail. <laughs> all right, I'll roll it. <laughs> With my 10% in psychology. Like, that is a 99. Ooh. This is why I didn't want to roll. <laughs> okay. So, success or fail, it's skeet. I mean, you don't you don't notice any obvious ticks or that he's trying to lie. As long as you've known him, he's been pretty. All right. You know what I mean? Like there's he just he's just skeet. So skeet I kind of put my hand up to the group real quick, and I kind of pull my chair over to him. I turn his chair next to me, and I hand him another biscuit. Well, he's still standing up, just drinking coffee. I right pull now. out a chair and I motion and for him to sit in a hand of a biscuit. Yeah, he is drinking coffee. Oh. And he comes over and he sits down. And All right. What was your uh, cousin's name again? Oh, uh, Ulrich. Right. Ulrich Fannin. How long? Changed his name. Changed his name from what? Well, I mean, Schemo. Right. <laughs> you can understand. I mean, he wouldn't have made it big. Do you know where Ulrich is now? No, I couldn't find him. He must have moved or something. But I mean, honestly, I never really knew where he was to begin with. I just figured he'd track him down. I went went to the fancy part of town and wandered around the banks and stuff. Right, the banks. Yeah. So, how long has he been a banker? Oh, it's like, oh Jesus. Well, he did have a little bit of trouble with the law a while ago. Did so, he? I mean, supposedly only in the last oh, four or five years, I suppose. I suppose, boy. So, what, what happened the last four or five years? He's been working as like a banker and stuff. Only for the past four to five years. Well, I had a little bit of trouble with the law before that, right? Or had, what happened with him and the law? Oh, so he was accused of, of, of uh, stealing money or something. Yeah, yeah. And what did he do before he was accused of stealing money? Oh, yeah. just a roundabout, I suppose. Just like just uh, you know, just wandered around and you know did odd jobs and stuff, I suppose. Were you? Were you in touch recently? Uh, I kept up since we got to since I got to town. I kept trying to get a hold of him and stuff, but I, I just you know couldn't really. Try Have you that. talked to him in the past five years? No, no. So since he had the run in with the law, you haven't been able to get in touch with him. Oh, I mean, I talked to him a bit after that, but I mean, not not much. And he said he was going to start working at you know becoming le- legit. It's the word he used. Don't know what it means. Never be 
have to start looking into bankers that have come up in the past five years. So, banking? Was that what he was looking to get into doing legit? Yeah. Lots of money to be had out there. And that was the last you spoke to him? Well, yeah. I mean, city skeet, you know? He just sort of does his own thing. We were just asking because we were when we were looking for you, we decided to look for, for Ulrich Fannin, and we couldn't find any information about him. Yeah, he probably keeps a low profile. Yeah, I just, we, it would really be best if you would st if you stick around the house for... Oh yeah, I will. I got lots of stuff to work on around here, for sure. For sure. Excellent. Does he eat more scone? No more making distilleries, though. Stills? Oh, no. Distill. Yeah, I know, after the explosion last time and stuff, I've cut that on. Plus, I mean, there's lots of booze <clears> around <throat> here. Have you noticed, Althea? Like, there's liquor cabinets everywhere. Some of them might have been drinking some of it and filling it back up with water so nobody would notice. I mean, that's what some of them do. thought this was rather watered down. I need some more pills. No. Oh, are you okay? What happened? I think, no, I think you probably will just need a good night's sleep. Or a distraction. Let's go for a distraction. Let's go find information. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sure. Sure. Let's, you know what? I, I'll i just, I will just have Cadbury keep an eye, uh, eye on things here. Just. Yes, Cadbury, just he's, a, he's a nice guy. Stand up, you know. Yes. Yes, he. I think he might be my best friend. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> I'm glad you're making friends, Keith. Oh, yeah. So glad. Really you should go tell him that. Again. Yeah, uh, I haven't should. yet. I don't know how he'll react. He's resting. He had a long night. Yeah. You should make him something. Yeah, really. Oh, I can make him the old mama's old family recipe. Do Perfect. That. Yeah. Do Burnt that. toast. Yes. He'd love it. Yes. Yes, well, I'm sure yeah. he will. I'm sure he will. I, well, what are you guys looking into? While well, Skeet's talking. If anyone knows is Althea, where she's kind of been in a bit of a low <laughs> for the last little bit. You now see one of her eyes kind of starts twitching a little on the left, and she starts, sits up straight in her chair and was like, Althea? I just had an idea. We were going to get information about that book, right? Or stuff that you, happened you yesterday? You were going to show me some clothes in your closet, and then we were going to go do some stuff. All right, let's do that now. Come on, I'll show you the closet. And All she right. gets it from the chair, and then she leaves the dining room. <laughs> yeah, and, and as you're leaving, she says, what are you guys looking into? Maybe I can help. Oh, well, there's this... Uh, a church on the edge of town that uh, we were looking into mm -hmm. called the Church of Contemplation. As, as I'm going out the door, but like, don't tell them everything. But, uh... Uh, church yeah. of Contemplation? Yeah, it's just a, it's a very... That's the, what, a Church of Our Lord? Grantor of Secrets or something, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, have uh, you heard of it before? Yeah, yeah. I don't know where it Have I left the room when he says that? No, this is as you're getting up. He's like, I don't know Psychology where. check. 20% <laughs> out of 35. How the hell does he know that? Well, no. Psychology doesn't <laughs> get, is, tell you okay, where somebody goes. What is his here. thoughts on this? Let me, let me explain. <gasps> That's let too me, weird. Let me explain. Um, psychology doesn't allow you to know how somebody knows. Right. It, it just lets you pick up on physical cues. Yeah. Yeah. On um, <laughs> if they're lying to you, they're trying to keep something from what you. What am or I something. picking up? <laughs> You're picking up that this is Skeet. Honestly, he's not showing any physical cues of being dishonest at all. So Skeet, was there such a church in the in in Swills Gullet? Well, I, not re not really. No, I don't think I don't even know where I know. It's just uh, it was. Uh, well, um, it's funny you mention it, but it's a place Ulrich used to go. Is it? He used to always be, always be, oh. and he used to give me headaches. He used to always be talking about give you, it. Like, what, what did he say about oh, it? Oh, it's just, it's just a nice, uh, place where, you know, people are doing good for the community and stuff like that. Like, uh, do I don't you, know. Do you know someone named Michael Thomas? Does that ring a bell? Michael, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I I'm thought I'd Michael. try. What, what did Ulrich say about this church? Because we're just, we're investigating into it. It's well, been abandoned always, for always, years. He was always talking about it. Yeah? He was always just talking about the church. And did it seem like the a good, good they did. 
Did it seem like a good place to you, or was well, it I'm not, really, not uh, really something that you were? I'm not really the religious type. No, me neither. No, not at all. No. What did he totally. tell you about this? <laughs> it was just it did a lot of good stuff, and that he wanted me to go and stuff like that. But no, I just I'd never get into that stuff. What What did he say that they did uh, in the community? Oh, just just help people, you know. Just just help people. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of you know homeless population and stuff, and they did what they could to help out that situation and. And stuff like that, yeah. Like, okay. Lots of mouths to feed, feed, you know, and help the kids. You know, help the kids in the community, the runaways and such like that, you know. So, well, like a like an orphanage or social uh, services? I'm not sure of an orphanage. Yeah, maybe, maybe or give them a place to sleep and uh, take care of them. And, wow. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he, he never really brought, he just said they took care of them. No, he never really got into what the... Reasoning behind it was, but you know, anything to help the kids, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Ha, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we found out some. Um, Don't tell them everything. Some pretty, some pretty unfortunate information about this church, and from all we've been able to tell, it has been abandoned for the last several years. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my. They had. Did it sounds like a bit of an unfortunate situation a couple of years ago, but. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we're if you yeah, if you do happen to remember any other in, any other information about it that you think would be interesting, it would certainly be helpful. Oh, uh, I have. I learned I learned what Ulrich used to say about it. I mean, yeah. I don't I don't really know too much too much about it really. Did Did Ulrich say um, like he attended this church yeah. in here in town? Wait. Yeah, he he was involved. He yeah. talked to you about six years ago about his run-ins with the law, but he never mentioned anything about the church? Well, I mean, that was before then. That was before the run-ins with the law. Like, he talked about the church before the run-ins with the law? Yeah. Yeah, but, but I mean, your last conversation with him. Yeah, he never mentioned the church then. He was just talking about what his plans were and what he was going to do next. And I mean, he was one of those guys that just jumps around to a pile of different things. You know, he's just roundabout, you know, just involved in a pile of different things. Yeah. Do I recall... Um, do I recall the exact date that the raid of the church happened? And it was 1917, but was there... Uh, I'm sorry, no, it was 1912, but it was there. Oh, nope, that doesn't tie into it. Never mind. Yeah. The raid was in 1912. Yeah. On the Church of Contemplation. Mm-hmm. And you said um, the last you talked to him was... Michael Thomas ago? escaped from prison in 1917. The yeah. Reverend Michael Thomas, who headed the church. The same time that Olerick was caught and also escaped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you guys seem to want to know a lot of information about that I stuff. I have a, eh? another question for sure. you, Sure. Um, did Ulrich is your only family yeah. left in town? Well, I see the only family really I have, yeah. So did you know he went away for a bit? Went away? Like, well, I mean, uh, like I said, I haven't like talked to him in a while. Stayed at a resort. A resort? In Danvers. Mm. Danvers. Doesn't sound like it's very warm, but I, 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 he's a bit everywhere, you know. He didn't he's, mention it at all. No. Okay. No, I don't know. Eh. Well, he's yeah. a stand-up guy, though. I mean, if he was involved in something, I'm sure there's a good reason. Thanks. Thanks for letting us know. That's hmm. that's just really interesting. Why is he involved in something you guys are looking <clears throat> into? Or we don't know. We would just like to. Meet him. You seem very uh, wanting to to find him, and we would like to help. No, yeah, we're just making sure that you weren't found. They're looking for guys and souls. Gods, just stay. Yeah, low. yeah. So I'm pretty. I'm pretty good at hiding, though. We've noticed. I mean, yeah. I mean, I just I just blend in, I guess. And you see him with his dirty coveralls on and his chest hair sticking out. I just blend in, you know. Uh, I'm sure. I mean. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're more interested in the. In, in finding particular artifact at this church, but any background information about it would will help us out with knowing what to expect. Oh, our, our artifact? Yeah. Like that that box from my store? Well, that's one kind of artifact, yeah. but we're looking, more of a book in this case. Oh, a book. Don't oh. tell them everything. 
you got to be careful with books. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. And you see him just get sort of solemn. He's just like, oh, yes, you got to be careful with books. As I learned that at a young age. You don't, you don't go reading books. You just stays away from the books. Oh, okay, you don't ski. read the books. Ski. Psychology ski. checks? Yeah, sure. same, same sure. here. Sure. There are lots of psychology <laughs> checks going around. Uh, 44 out of 55. 37 yeah. out of 35. Althea's not in the room. She ran six. away. Oh, yes, Althea <laughs> hat is gone out of the room. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, yeah. Uh, Six out of 40. Nice! nice. You can give yourself a tick. Woo-hoo. He seems pretty freaked out. Just the mention of... He seems... Mm. I'm going to pour him some yeah. orange juice, and I'm going to pass it to... Ski, just sip on this for... Mm-hmm. Very slowly, slowly. Yeah. What, what happened... Um, can do you want to talk about books or no? No, no, I don't. Yeah, you know, I know. These things, especially like important books. I mean, like regular books is fine, and maps is fine, and all that's fine. But you got you got to stay away from the books. I mean, because they tell you things, right? They can tell I, you things. Can I just, roll a persuade check to ask him one question to try and to ask to try and ask a question that won't elevate his current state? The, Does that work? Well, that way? Uh, ask the question and roll persuade. Uh, basically, is, was do you remember Ulrich being there when this book was read? Was Ulrich involved with any of this book stuff when you were a kid? Well, he, he did. It didn't seem to you, even from your previous psychology role, that he's referring to that specific book. Just important books. Was in Ulrich general. into big important books? There you go. Just roll. Yeah, and then roll the persuade. It's my hope is that it doesn't make him worse. Eh, Forty-five out of thirty. <laughs> Um, he sort of looks at you for a second. He's just like, wow, I mean, yeah. Uh, he looks confused. He's just like, ah. You don't remember if Ulrich was read, into reading important books? Oh, was he? Oh, was he? Books. Important books. Ah. No, I'm, not, I'm not too. I'm not. I'm not too. I'm not too sure about it. Really, it's just. Skeet, it's how just old something are you? you don't do. How old? Oh God, I'm younger than me father, and uh, I know I'm younger than me father. How old is Ulrich? Oh, oh yeah, we're around the same age. We're around the same age. Yeah. But you can't tell me what that number is, eh? Well, I mean, it's a number, I suppose. I mean, I'm. I I'm up there though. You know, I ain't a kid or not. Right, right. I'm up right. there. I'm up there. Yeah. Oh, just I'm just be careful with the. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just up there, I suppose. Can I do the same? He looks to be of... in his forties, right? Yeah. He does. Yeah. He looks to be in maybe mm-hmm. his early forties, but he could, he just has one of those. That was. He could be. Can I do the same kind of role? <laughs> um, but ask, where was this important book that you read? Go ahead and I'll just roll your persuade check. And it's persuade. So it where, would be persuade. Where is the... Under- oh, tund. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, no. 52 out of 10. It's not yeah. going to happen. Where so. we? Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just in, in... He seems to be calmed down a bit. But he's just like, oh, it's just in general. You know, you just... You just don't, you know, read. You, you just be careful. And then I'm going to do... Books this. can make you do things. I mean, it just puts thoughts in your head. Where'd you grow? I'm going to do this same role. And I'm going to ask him, Skeets, can you... Maybe just tell us the story of what happened. You can tell it as a story that happened to someone else, but... No, you can roll Persuade if you'd like. Nah. Yeah. Uh, no, 50 out of 43. <laughs> oh. oh! So close. Well, he's just like, wow, a story. I mean, it's just something you know, right? Why? Right? It's just something you know. To, you had to... Well, books have power, right? Books are, are, are full of stuff. And when just, was the first time you read... An important book. Oh, God, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't read an important book. Why not? You know, he just looks offended. What? <laughs> you what? wouldn't Did do you, that. You wouldn't what? go around just reading important Did books. Did you see someone read a book and something happened? No, it's just, it's just something I've always known. I mean, you know, just from a kid, you just don't you don't go at that stuff. That stuff is uh, that's crazy. It's crazy stuff. Books. So, so who? Um, okay. I'm just going to. Althea, yeah. oh. you had left a little while ago. Yep, what were you doing? <laughs> well, I thought that Amos was behind me he, so he that wasn't. we were going to go to the closet. So I, was I going up, to and then I stopped. I ended up at high speed going into my bedroom <laughs> and then realized when I got there that I was by myself. 
Um, so then I got the thought of, oh yeah, we we're gonna do research and it's just me here. So I'm gonna go and wait for the others and I'm gonna go to my library. And, and what exactly are you gonna try to look up? I am going so to much. try uh, looking up any references to the Silver Twilight Lodge mm -hmm. and what that, any anything that might describe the book that we saw there because that's really the only references I have. Yes, and you can roll a library use. Okay. Oh, no. I'm assuming we're not going to be talking to Skeets for four hours. So. No, but it's just... It's, no. Yeah. Um, I just want her to do... No, I got 60 out of 40 on my library use. Okay, oh. well, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to you because while this talk is happening, you are trying yep. to look stuff up. Mm-hmm. However much time she has. Yeah. Uh, so the time limit for library use, it's also based on if you roll an extreme success. If you roll, you know what I mean? It can cut sense. down the time, yeah. the multiple people <clears throat> and stuff like that. So we'll just mm -hmm. go back to the, the skeet interrogation. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, oh, oh. You know, I think, I think we're upsetting him. I think it's... I think As he's just sipping on his orange juice, wide-eyed. Not quite yet. No, just, I'm just trying... You're my friends, right? Just, yeah. just be careful with that we, stuff. Oh, we appreciate we, it. We are your friends. I would yes. consider you a best friend. Oh, my. Oh, my. Better not oh tell Cadbury. Oh, I think he can deal with it. Yes, he's a stand-up man. Stand-up so, man. Has the look about the war in him. He does. No, hey, you're not wrong. She it's almost the exact same way he talked about... Yeah. Yeah. It's like the exact same way he talked How, about the kid. Did you, were you in involved Skullt? in war? Is no, he? I wouldn't be involved in any of that stuff. Killing a man? No. Can't be at that. So what, uh, what it's is almost your... almost as bad as reading books you shouldn't read. What, what, how do you know not to read books? I don't know. I mean, how does anyone know anything? Generally, you learn Usually it from books. someone. <laughs> hey, I don't know. It's just, it's just something you got to be careful with. That's all I mean. I'm just saying be careful. Do you know how to read Skeet? Yeah, some, day, some days I'm a better reader than others, you know. Sometimes the words just swim and I can't pick it apart and they look like different words and everything else. I mean, I just usually stay away from books and learning and such. There lies damnation. Something like that. Well, where'd I hear that too? Well, it wasn't Bible. in my Bible. Uh. Yes, you know. So you don't remember ever even trying to read a book? Oh, I mean, I've I'm sh I'm, I've read some stuff. I mean, there's there's equipment manuals and stuff to work I on mean, vehicles books, and stuff though. like that. But they're books. I mean, they're just not important books. What? When was the last time you recall anyone using an important book? Oh, he looks just a little bit confused, like he's trying to remember something and failing miserably. <laughs> <trying> to <laughs> this was what Sitting it seems like. Roll to help he, jog the memory. The, <laughs> He seems to just like he's having a minor stroke. His eyes are wide and his head's back. He's like, no, you know what? I, I can't. It's just something you don't do, right? It's not really a big deal. You just you just don't read. You, you know, I mean, you stay you know, stay away from that stuff, right? Important stuff. That's way above and beyond what a good old skeet can be involved in. I don't think I'm getting anywhere with this. I'm not, I don't think so either. I'm going to go and find Althea. I agree. I'm gonna. Yeah, from all your psychology that you've been constantly using against him, he he doesn't seem like he's withholding information. No. Anything he says, he doesn't know. He no, we're trying seems to like he doesn't, he doesn't actively know. He doesn't know it. Yeah. I right. I would like to go and and ring for Cadbury. Okay, so you. You know. I, I leave. I'm yeah, heading same. to the library. I'm yeah. going to the well. I'm going and to I, the bedroom. I, 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 I thought that's where she to, went. I say thanks to Skeets and yeah. bye, yeah. and we're glad you're okay. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Mary. <clears throat> okay. So, okay, so Marion leaves to go to the library. Is anyone else leaving? Well, I, I was going to go to Althea's bedroom because i that's where I last sure. recall. Sure, anyone goes to Althea's bedroom and I don't know, I is there something library. you would like to be doing? Well, you were going to get Cadbury? I was going to get to Cadbury, yes. Sure, not a problem. Okay. So Skeet's just sitting there by himself and just eating a scone and drinking some yeah. coffee. Skeet uh, just... Drinking some orange juice, sorry. Yeah. He's moved from the coffee to the orange juice. Uh, just stay here for a second, see? Just eat as much as you can, Okay. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I might even take some with me. How am I? He leans in very conspiratorially. Am I allowed to take some of this with me and eat it later, or am I only supposed to eat it in here? Um. It's really fancy, right? You know what? Between friends, I won't tell if you don't. Okay. Okay. Shh. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> if he's gone when you come back. Yeah. But stay here, okay? Yes, yes, it's true. You always have to keep a secret. That's very true. You always have to keep a secret. Right. So, yes, yes. And he sits back down. He's drinking some orange juice, and he's just eating another scone and stuff. As you mm. leave to go get Cadbury. <laughs> Fair enough. Every, Let's other, ah! every <laughs> other thing that Pete says, somebody sacks eye goes, Twitch! <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's killing it. you that you don't know what he knows. It's killing me that I well, can't convince him to open his mouth. But it does, from Pete all of your checks, it doesn't, doesn't seem he knows. No, he doesn't know what Skeet knows. Yeah. 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 No, that is the perfect way yes. to put it. Skeet does not know Let's what Skeet knows. Perfect. He just doesn't. He's <laughs> bah! Right? But we're just going to quickly go to Amos, who you yep. go into the bedroom, and you, you basically pick out where it is, and you go there, and it's it's like I described before, phenomenal. When you go into like the walk-in whole room closet, <laughs> not a not a walk-in <laughs> closet, a whole room closet, yeah, there's... Like really nice uh, trench coats, oh, um, all seem shit. to be in fairly good condition. Uh, there is one that seems to be worn a bit, like very comfortable, worn, uh, broken in. Seems to be broken in. It's a really beige number, a beige number. I took them off the dead bodies. I know you did. No, Althea, you're not there. Don't make, don't, don't make me knock you unconscious again. Don't make me knock you unconscious again. I'm looking at it. Uh, uh, can you roll me a spot hidden? <laughs> sure. Mm, of course so I can, because, you know, why not roll the one that the GM always wants you to roll? 46 out of 43. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really nice, comfortable coat, yeah. Perfect size. Can I... Can I push that? Can you push oh, that? Oh, he's pushing a spot here. Yes, you can. And you know Why that when you this? push a roll, <laughs> if you fail, you're going to fall into the red hole. There is a closet. negative consequence. You're going to come out in a party dress. One percent. No. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. It's a, a successful push. <laughs> An extreme success. Yeah. No, that, no, is it's, a, it's, that is a one yeah. percent. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, when you fail a push roll, bad things happen. When you critically fail a push roll, horrible. Something thing. strange happens. No, oh, something critical no. happens. No, something yeah. strange <laughs> happens. Sit the fuck down. But no, you succeeded, and you're looking it over, and it's like, oh, it's really nice and worn in. And something caught your eye, and then you decided you looked over it again, and you checked the pockets and everything. But you noticed the tag on the back, um, not a tag, but on the part of the neck that you wear over your neck. Yeah. Stitched into it is the name Aloysius. I knew it. Um, and you, as you reach into one of the pockets, you haul out what appears to be a cigarette case, a metal cigarette case. Um, By the way, fancier than mine. It had, it's, yep. it seems to be made out of gold. Holy a shit. A golden cigarette case. Yeah. And uh, as you pick it up, something rattles inside. And you open it up and you notice a little vial of liquid. It seems to be a, a black liquid. And it's got a little cork stopper in it that's just rolling around inside. I dun dun dun. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm just looking Drink at my skills the mirror because that's exactly what, what you know people do typically. I have nothing. In, there's no chemistry. Okay. Um. Well, the, if you're not skilled in chemistry, it's just a one percent. Yeah. <laughs> and you need yeah, you should no. and you need a lab. I will put it back. Yeah. Sure. Put it back in the pocket. Sure. Now I know she said she can let I, I could grab what I'd like, but yes. I don't want to be disrespectful. Hmm. It's up to you. It's the you, best coat there. Well, to be fair, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, side character. Um, not, you guys know absolutely nothing about who that person is. Uh, I'm the only one because I'm. One I was people. told his name. That's all I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll grab the coat with the hanger. Mm -hmm. Not putting it on, just taking the coat with the mm -hmm. hanger. Oh, the fabric's so nice. It's like a leather, very soft. Oh, God, I'm not sure what, what it's made of, but it's very soft, supple leather. All right. I'll grab a, a set of clothing that I would very much like. 
Mm-hmm. But not put it on. I'm going to head to downstairs to where I assume she is. Which would so you buy different. like you, you not buy, but you find like a nice uh, pants, some durable rugged pants. You find yeah. a nice shirt. And you find a trench coat. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, with the intention of going down to confirm with Althea, hey, uh, so okay. you know that whole bit. But sure. And we'll. So not we'll wearing it, carrying it down. Go away from Amos, and we're going to go to Agatha, who you go to Cadbury's room, which is on the first floor. Well, it's, I mean, it doesn't matter which floor. It's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and you... Uh, you don't get lost in yeah, the labyrinth? doors close. Knock on the door? So you knock on the door. Yeah. You hear groggily inside. Oh. Whew. You hear somebody just... The creaking of a bed. Right. As he stands up and the shuffling of... Uh, the door creaks open. He's looking at him, he's blurry, and he's... So he sort of has a comb over, yeah. and it's sort of oh just God. up. <laughs> it's up. And he's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, uh, Agatha, how... How may... Um, uh, is, is, is Althea all right? Is everything okay? Oh, no, Althea, Althea is fine. It's, she, it's very fine. It's more so, um, Skeet came back today. Uh, oh, okay. Um, he's... I'm not as sure if weird is a good way to describe him, but he's... I would say it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we, there's a lot of suspicion around him right now. Where... What? Really? He, he's a bumbling idiot. Well, He's, he's likable, though. He, there's a lot of suspicion about uh, certain family members of his. Oh, yes, yes. And also the fact that there are some people who are after him. Really after him? Well, the police are interested, but the government is really interested based off of what happened in Swill's Gullet. We're very concerned for Skeet's safety. Oh, yes, I'll keep my eye on him. Uh, that, I would appreciate that. I would yes. 100% appreciate that. Um, he also thinks that you're his best friend. And he sort of screws up his face a little bit. Um, his what? His He admires you, so... Oh, and you see him sort of straighten up, and he puts his hand and puts his comb over back down on... Well, yes, I mean... Yes. Yeah. Strong male figure. So... Well, he's probably the same age. Oh, what? So maybe <laughs> with, like, your your skills, your extensive skills, maybe yes, extensive. Uh, keep him, you know, entertained. And in the house. Ah, uh, yes, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll keep him entertained. Yes, uh, uh, I, I managed to catch an hour. That should be enough functioning for me, and I'll get up and get myself cleaned up and head down, yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I would appreciate that. Thank you. Well, it's more, actually, he's had a, uh, a couple of hours because you guys went to the library and stuff like that. Yeah, yes, I managed to get enough sleep for tonight. You don't want to sleep the day away. That's, that's Where is Skeet at the moment? He's in the uh, dining ballroom. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yes. And he's, uh, oh, yes. And he's still talking through the crack in the door. He's like, oh, yeah, yes. Yes, oh, okay, yes, I'll get myself cleaned up and I'll head on down. Oh, please. perfect. Oh, uh, one, one more second. Um, earlier, I didn't have a chance to ask, but were you a doctor in the military? Ah. Uh, I guess you could say that, yeah. Oh, uh, you yeah, did. I, I, I've had I've had medical training. Yes, 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 yes. You did a very good job with Althea. I just wanted to say thank you. Yes. Well, I mean, the the reason I did such a good job with that is that's not an uncommon occurrence. It's just <laughs> she comes back in all states sometimes. You know, I uh, usually involved in a you know. It's just maybe the work she does. You know. Getting called away in all hours of the night. Dead bodies? If you ever want to talk about it, or if you're ever stressed, you're more than welcome to talk to me. As soon as you say stressed, way. he just sort of looks at you like, "Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm fine. But if something co- if something comes up, I'm sure I'll talk to somebody about it for sure." Okay. But yeah. anyway. Yeah, you can trust me. It's all good. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, and, then, and he just closes the yeah. door and just grumble, 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 grumble to grumble <laughs> <laughs> as he starts walking into his room. And then where were you heading after? I'll probably be trying to find Okay, so everyone meets up in the library. Althea, for the last little bit, you've been trying to track down information on what you're looking for, but you've had no such luck. Yeah. As everyone sort of finds each other in the library. And you see Amos walk in, and he, over his shoulder, he has hangers with clothes and stuff on it. Hey, I, I'm sorry I meant to follow you up to your room with the skeet was saying some weird stuff, wanted to check up. Uh, he said I could grab some clothes from the closet. Are these all right? 
No, they're just clothes. Um, sure. I mean, clothes are, yeah, they're yours. Well, all right then. Thank you very much. So, what's the plan for the day? Well, I have been hanging out here trying to find some information on the things that I remember about when I was knocked out and, and the other things that we know. And, unfortunately, I've had no luck. This library has failed me today, and that is a very unusual thing. But I'm mm. not sure if it's the library or if it's me and I'm just moving a little bit faster than I should be. I do think we should make plans to eventually go back to the uh, uh, Church of Contemplation and get that book. But we need <laughs> to make a plan of how we're going to remove it from the dais. Dias? Dias. Uh, I'm sure I can get some bolt cutters from my apartment. Mm-hmm. No, oh, I'm pretty sure I have those I have here. Bolt cutters, right? We can just pick out a whatever size you want. Maybe yes. Maybe Remember, a... she's got like a full yep. mechanic, and yeah. Well, let's get the big ones. Uh, it was a large chain. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> I'm going to make sure I have my uh, Lee Enfield Mark III all clean and skiffy for our little trudge back if we yeah. decide to do that. I would, though, like to know a bit more about this cult that seems to be... Well, I want to use the word squatting, but for all we know, it could be the same cult, just has never quite left. So yeah. I wouldn't mind spending today doing a bit more, res a bit more research and... Then we could head over bright and early tomorrow and not worry about being caught in the dark again. We, we saw we saw a symbol at the church. Did yep. anybody recognize it? I didn't recognize it. It was like a star and an eye. It was an eye and it seemed to have a like, weird triangle on the corners of it. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's true. Framing it. Just it looked quick... like a broken triangle with an eye in the middle. Right. Did we still want to look into Michael Thomas and Ulrich Fannin at the uh, prison? Like at N. Danvers? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I don't know how useful looking into Ulrich Fannin would be at this point. Um, we were mostly looking into him in order to find Skeet. If there's a connection, okay. well, at the moment it seems more coincidence than anything. But well, the, he was involved with the Michael church. Thomas. Michael Thomas as well. Yeah. So if you'd like to 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 drop by Danvers and find out what he was what he was admitted for, yeah, I think I want to do that. So perhaps if we think there is a link between all of these things, we could go and try to yeah. complete this task for um, Alistair and Simon, and then take it upon ourselves to find out what we want on our own. <laughs> Well, I thought we were going to talk to Alistair and Simon about getting help. Well, for we could the book. do that first before we go back there to see if they have any suggestions on how to deal with the problem there. Well, if we or if they have anything that we could use. So we're gonna put the the researching of the individuals involving in the church in the back burner for now. Go to Alistair and Simon together to the church and then research with what time we've got left. Am I following that correct? I believe so. And perhaps while we're there, if we are able to take care of the issue that we encountered at the church, we may find some other answers there that may lead us in a new direction. What makes you think that's that right. it's going to be safe going back? I mean, we've already killed a couple of their members. Uh, I mean, I don't you think safe. they... Well, no, I know that. But wouldn't you think that they would have like now like a small army, possibly? That's why my first suggestion is going to Alistair and Simon and asking for more hands. And if they say no? Well, then we make the reality of the situation very clear to them. Right. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go and see what happens. But I am not leaving without my Lee Enfield. I am making sure I've got that puppy on me. That's fair. And I'll get a machete. Are you sure? Or we could not do that last part. It's funny Personally, how you're all becoming quite adjusted to violence. Yeah, yeah. Unlike true. Ma uh, other than Marion, of course. All right. Well, I, I, and Althea's eyes kind of go out of focus for a moment. This is and the other she reason comes, why. Pops I... back and says, "I'm going to go to my room and get my things," and uh, then she jumps up. <laughs> and I, 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 I rather think 
With how Althea is feeling today, that today is not a good day to go back to the church. Well, she's high energy. I mean, the longer, at least I think she'll probably scare them. Let, well, hang on a sec. The longer reality of the situation, the longer we wait, the more of a chance they have to relocate. Also, the longer we wait, the darker it's going to be. Well, as far as thinking, we go tomorrow morning. What time is it now? Uh, it's still it's, morning. It's still, yeah, well, it's still morning. You, were up, uh, you had stayed up really early. Element we go, of surprise. They have no time to move. They have no time exactly. to prepare. We, if the whole point of doing this is to get that book, and now they know that we know where they are, my first order of business would be to move. And if we're still dead serious about getting this book for Alistair and Simon, we've got to we got to move before Quickly. they move the book. Yep, I agree with Amos. Now, sorry, changing my tomb. I think now is the time to actually do this. You're right. So are we? All right. Still wouldn't mind some extra help, though. So we're stopping yeah. at... Uh, let's, let's go Let's new... go visit Alistair. Okay, oh, well, right. hang on a sec. Priorities there, honey. Um, has has Althea, have you left the room yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. ran Oh, she's there. gone. I, I got a little... <laughs> she's just ran... I got another little dash. burst of speed and ran back to my room. Uh, Agatha, what's, what's your history in the field of chemistry? Chemistry? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm... Uh, I'm pretty good at it. I'm not excellent at it. Like, I can do the basics. Why? Oh, my God. What's going on, Amos? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's, uh, I don't know. I threw on this coat. I'm going to see you toss on a new coat. It's a rather nice coat. I just found something interesting in the inside. Let and, me uh, see. All right, pops it open, hands you the vial of black liquid. In, in the it's a, Yeah, it's a little vial, and it's got a cork. Cork. You know, a cork stuffed into the top, and it seems right. to be a black liquid. Can I... I'm in the process of changing my, my cigarettes over. <laughs> <laughs> they fit perfectly. Beautiful. Uh, can I, without opening it, can I kind of deduce kind of what kind of liquid it is? Roll a chemistry check. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, yeah, it's kind of... It's just for the base. No, that's an 89 out of um, three. One thing, the only thing you really notice about it is as you slosh it... Mm-hmm. It's not, it's black. Um, as you slosh it, you can't see through it. You don't see a shade of gray. It's just pure black liquid. Is it though, is it like, um, is it uh, more like um, molasses -y or is it really loose like water? In the middle. Okay, so slightly, right. all right. Yeah, slightly viscous, you know, that viscous -y type mm -hmm. of, maybe like not as thick as oil, but still, yeah. And it doesn't, as you slosh it around, like parts of it don't stick to the glass where it sloshes. Mm. Right? All right. You know, sometimes you'll see drops of liquid that'll st stay, but it's not. I mean, I can't really determine what it is, oh, but fair I mean, enough. like it's... Mm -hmm. Probably the person to ask would be Althea, but I would think that would be like maybe tomorrow thing. No, I'll get asked about it later. Okay. I'll take it, put it in the old cigarette case, and pop it in the other pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's make sure we have the tools we need. Perfect. I'm gonna go get my weapon. <laughs> yes. I uh, well, that's definitely something we're going to need to talk to Alistair and Simon about. And I leave and start getting stuff ready. Mm -hmm. yep. Into the car. Vroom vroom vroom. I guess. Well, Althea, you managed to get your stuff together? Yes. Okay, and then are you all heading... To the car. Doctor's bag, forensics yeah. bag, handgun. Okay. You have a handgun? Yeah. Ooh. Well, actually, I have several guns, but it's more like a collection. This is just one that I use personally on an everyday function. Can I say, given, nice. given the circumstances of things, that's the least surprising. So as you're all leaving... We have bolt cutters in the car? Uh, there's bolt cutters everywhere. Well... Pick a with... size. Any yeah. size. Hey, King. Out in the cat. Yeah, the big ones. Jaws of, Jaws of death. That's what we want. <laughs> okay. Um, and as you all leave and you go down to the main floor and you go by the dining room, yeah. maybe to grab a couple of bit of food to take, mm -hmm. um, you notice uh, Cadbury sitting down with Skeet. And they're just talking. No, just saying Cadbury has came down and has taken your advice and is spending time with Skeet. Oh, what a guy. That's so good. 
<laughs> that's kind of cute, actually. That's that's kind of like a... I don't know if Hallmark Ooh. is uh, around at the time, but that's a Hallmark moment. <laughs> right. Cute. Right. Yeah, so you grab a little bit of brown bag food. Brown sack, or whatever they call it. Brown oh, that's right. Paper bag? Brown Paper bag. bag, sack, whatever. Yeah. A um, little bit of chocolate milk. No, that's camp stuff. <laughs> so then you... Uh, oh, God. Yeah, and you head out to the Packer Twin Six, and I'm assuming Althea's driving? No. I'm no. driving. Yes. Okay. That's fair. I guess Althea goes to get in the driver's seat. No, no, no. no Say this no, one out. No. Can you... Can you <clears throat> can, I, I mean, I, you're probably better at navigating. I don't know this town. Yeah. And I'm going to, like, get, just get into the driver's seat. <laughs> uh, fine. I'll slide over into the passenger seat. <laughs> there we go. In the back. Yep. Okay. So you all hop into the vehicle and start heading toward the New England Center of Antiquities, which is pretty much just a redone old house. <laughs> yep. Up to the front door we go. Uh, I'm going to check myself in the mirror first. Excuse me. Whoa. Okay, so you drive to the location. <laughs> so you drive there. You yep. ready to hit on Alistair yet? <laughs> and you, you park, you know, on the other side of yep. the road as normal. Yeah, you ready, ready, to, ready to start? You good? Yeah. Yeah? I'm, I'm, right. I'm raring to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Walk up to the front door. And... I'm following. Okay. So, Marion. Mm-hmm. As you walk up to the front door and you're walking up the steps, I need you to roll a spot hidden. What? Oh. What? What? No. Uh, no. I don't like these rolls. That is a 48 out of 36. Oh. I do not make it. Fair enough. So as you get to the door, as you get up to the door, and you reach to open up the door with the with the mm -hmm. handle, um, the knob, um, you know, it's just as you touch it, the door just slightly swings open. And then, and, and as a better, and it takes you a second, you didn't notice this a little bit earlier, you notice that it looks like the lock has been punched out of the door. And it's just only open like yeah. a couple of inches and you just, it's I just it, strange. That door is always. Mm -hmm. I, I gently push it open and I look and I go, hello, Kay. Alistair, Simon? What's going on? Do I, yeah, do I, do I, do I mark behind or do I notice that Okay, so just as you push open the door and you look down and there's, you know, the pathways and there's a hallway, as you just look in the hallway you took before, um, it looks dark in here. Um, there's no lights on, but it's like slightly flickering. Because, you know, yeah. the, the way it's I set up. I pull out the gun. I do I don't too. Think we need, we'll need that yet. Nope, I'm unsheathing mm. my gun too. Uh, okay. Handgun seems fine. So your Linny Infield rifle, which is a massive hunting rifle, yeah. did you have that strapped on your back walking across the Boston oh, Street? Damn it, probably into... not. <laughs> <laughs> now you can run back to the car, but can it'll I take you. A, back to the it'll car take you a couple of minutes. And then run across the street holding yep. it in your hand. I am. I'm doing it. it. So I step inside. Yeah. So as I'm you run away, we're going to continue with everyone else. I'm going to leg and leg with her. So as you step inside and you see the hallway of, of artifacts, you notice a flickering and it looks to be further in. There looks to be like a body on the floor and the displays. You can see a lot of smashed glass. Oh, my God. I run up to the body. I, I grab you before running up to the body. I'm going to pull you back as you run to the body. No, he's hurt. It's, well, are there a bit of a are there doors between us and the body? No, it's it's just the hallway that's leading to the office. Can just, you, can just we take can't it, recognize who it is, right? Not They're, from the distance and the flickering light and it's dark, but you're not there. Mm -hmm. You're at the, you're running up. This is like yeah. Someone just Very broke quickly. into a highly secure area and stole a bunch of stuff. Take it slow. A couple more seconds to make sure nothing grabs you on the other end. It's not going to make a difference to what state they're in. Just slowly. And I will progress with her, but checking as many corners as possible in case something jumps out at us. Althea, yeah. you are also there. What are you doing? Um, I'll probably station myself like kind of in the doorway, waiting for Agatha to come back while the two of them move ahead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. 
I to... hurry as quickly as I can. Okay, so as you start hurrying up the hallway, so can I roll something to take a look, or? At what? If I'm like kind of making sure there's nothing in any Yeah, corners. I'm just gonna say you're being perceptive. Yeah. You're just okay. being careful, you're being cautious, and you're looking around as you're moving up. Okay. As you pass by the first display that was under glass, which was the horn, I believe, mm -hmm. um, you notice there's no horn there anymore. And the whole glass that was in front of it is, is smashed. It was broken up onto God. the floor. And as you continue along, all, all the other things as well, everything that was there is smashed and missing. The... And, and as you reach uh, a little bit to where the body is, as you get up to it, I need uh, Marion and as the light's flickering, mm -hmm. because there's no, you know, le uh, Marion and Amos to roll a sanity check. Oh, Ooh. God. As we get to Agatha, who arrives back walking across the street with her Lillian <laughs> Field hunting rifle, to Althea, hmm. who is at the door, you hear, how was the sanity checks? It's current and sanity measured against, right? Yes. Okay, 56 out of 76. 81 out of 63. <gasps> 81 out of 63. Could make sense given this. Could situation. you roll me a d4, please? Four. Oh, no. So Amos loses one sanity. What? Oh, God. And Marion loses four sanity. Mm. Crying. Uh, Marion, without help, uh, meaning to, with losing a bit of sanity, lets out a yelp. <gasps> I don't right. want to Which is what you hear at the door as you see the flickering light. But what you see in front of you is a very desiccated corpse. Seems to be no liquid, just sunken in like it's bit like you found it in a tomb or Jesus. a pyramid, just <gasps> sunken in, um, grotesque in the in the skull with the skin all sucked in on it. It seems to be opened up into a scream. The other thing you notice is. The hands have no fingers. Ugh. And then, you know, just quickly scanning, you notice that right next to the body is one of the display cases. And it's smashed. But the object is still there. And it's a yellow book. Seems to be a yellow book. Do that I... you have seen before, which... What is the corpse wearing? Um... The corpse seems to be wearing, uh, is dressed all in black. Same outfit. It's not a robe. It's not a black robe, but wearing black pants and the equivalent of like a black hoodie. Is it has it anyone... a hood and everything else. Do I recognize? No, you do not. And Marion, you are a little bit freaked out. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard to really picture. But I'm just going to quickly, as you guys know, let's just go back to... Uh, Agatha and Althea, as you're looking down the hallway and you can see them just sort of stopped, <laughs> uh, you hear a little bit of a yelp that came from Marion. Okay. I probably would have my... Shoot wildly! No, no just please, please. <laughs> I'm not that crazy no, I'm just yet. joking. Uh, I'll probably yes. have the weapon, <laughs> the weapon at the ready, but I'll probably... My instinct is to not have it pointed at them. Yeah, probably of course. Probably would be walking towards yeah. them yeah, to make sure with gun they're down. okay. We'll be moving down the hallway since they already seem to have done okay, it safely Okay, moving enough. down the hallway. And you, uh, Amos, and uh, more Amos. Marine is a little bit freaked out by this. You hear uh, Althea and Agatha walking up to your location. Uh, as God, I hear is, them... Is everything gone? What, okay. what happened? Walking up to the location. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, as I hear them coming up, I look to make sure it's them and ask them to just, you know, I need you to stay with her for a bit. And I'll point the gun and go further into the center. Okay. So as Agatha and Althea arrive, you two need to roll sanity checks oh. once you see the body. Oh, 44 out of 59. Oh. <laughs> 86 out of 75. Oh my god. That would god. be a no for the lady on the drugs. <laughs> oh, boy. I need Althea to roll me a d4. That is four points of sanity. Yes. And okay, so same as before. Uh, Agatha, you lose one sanity. And Althea, you lose four. Okay. Now, normally with your career choice as a corner and the bodies you've seen, it's still a four sanity loss simply because 
It looks mutilated with the loss of fingers. The visage of just terror that's on this corpse's face. The way it's desiccated. It is, it is well, I shocking. Well, I mean, I've taken trips, but I can't imagine I've worked on a lot of mummies and mutilated mummies and such. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, oh my God. Mm -hmm. What? I... And then you look over and you also notice the yellow book with the glass broken in front of it. On the stand, uh, on its little stand, um, and you have an intense urge to take it enough where I need you to roll me a power roll. Oh okay. my god! As I go back to Amos, <gasps> just roll that and hold and keep whatever your roll is. Amos, right. you go down to the end of the hallway, and you notice that the. The main office door, yep, where uh, Alistair and Simon were, as you push it open, and you can just see blood splattered across the wall, and a large pool of blood by the desk, and it looks like um, something was dragged over to what looks to be like a wall. Just just a wall with a picture on it, but it looks like something was dragged, in the, and the blood streak seems to be right up against the baseboard. Like it's been cut off? Like... It, what's in front of this wall? Yeah. So you just notice this, um, and it just looks to be a, a wall with, with just the blood streak seems to stop there. As I just want to quickly, just this is what you notice in the room, yeah. as you quickly go back to Althea, and how was your power roll? I got a 42 out of 80. You had a 42 out of 80. Yeah, math. There's a lot of That'll willpower going on. Um, so you feel the tense urge to take it, but you, uh, uh, under the instinctual side, you stop yourself. It's up to you how you want to progress. Uh, given the situation, it's probably best to and you do wait and, and look you, at that later. And you do recall that this book had once belonged to your grandfather. I... Ooh. Just later, later. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Mm -hmm. As you go over to the wall and you're sort of looking at it, you start, you start thinking, oh, maybe there's a secret door or something. Yep. But no, it's just like as you're checking it out. Well, just roll me a spot hidden anyway. But as you're checking it out. 91 out of 43. As you're checking it out, you don't really seem to get anything out of the ordinary from it. And uh, at this point, you all hear something. Alistair? And Simon? What do, could, uh, Sorry. You, you all hear something, and it's something that you never thought would probably worry you, but you hear police sirens. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Call. Our next episode of The Call will air Tuesday, August 27th. In the meantime, Tuesday, August 20th is the next episode of Spacers, our Starfinder actual playcast. The game system used today was The Call of Cthulhu 7th edition by Chaosium. Music, sound effects, and ambient tracks licensed through Triune Films, Video Copilot, and Sirenscape. You can find all of Twisted Gears of Studios' podcasts on YouTube, Google Play, Apple Music, and Spotify. Please follow and like the Twisted Gear Studios' Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Twisted Gear. If you follow us on our social media platforms, you'll be able to see some of the new video projects we have on the go. Your players this evening were Janessa Coles, Lindsay Delansky, Zach Barrett, and Elizabeth Wells. Your audio operator tonight was Rob Hickey, and your GM, or Keeper, this evening was Derek Snow. If you happen to be in the Fort McMurray area, you can find me at Tavern on Main every Monday at 7.30pm for trivia. Have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.